Marcus Jensen majored in chemistry because that's where the steady careers were. Job security, health benefits, two weeks vacation, 401k. And best of all, people were hiring. Marcus got recruited right out of grad school by La Gringa. Shelter guy that he was, thought he was getting a job with the SB Corporation, a multinational pharmaceutical company based in Bolivia, which, of course, it is. He just didn't realize what the product was. But when he finally figured it out, he decided it didn't really matter. He's making more in one month than his friends make in five years. And best of all, <laughs> chicks. So many chicks. Almost as important, for the first time in his life, he's getting respect. Lagringa Station Marcus at the Chemical Institute in Libertad Province. Over the past three years, he's been teaching cartel members how to produce high-quality cocaine. True, most of these idiots never made it past the second grade, but it appears they finally found a subject they're passionate about. As for Marcus, his rationalization is... Look, someone's gonna make the cocaine, someone's gonna make the money. It might as well be me, right? You are right, Marcus, just not for much longer. We've ID'd the Buchon as an American national named Marcus Jensen. He's heading to a meeting at the witch market. Go find Jensen and bring him to me. We're entering the witch market. El Mercado de las Brujas. This is where the locals come to buy good luck charms or love potions or even a curse for their enemies. No shit. Eyes up. If the intel is correct, Jensen could be here somewhere. What in the hell is a guy like Jensen looking for in a place like this? Whatever it is, it ain't good. Trust me. Eyes on Jensen. Take him alive. Hands. Show me your hands. Do it now. Goddamn fascists. You've got no right. I'm an American citizen. Stay where you are and put your hands on your head. Don't make me tell you again. Yeah? Or what? Huh? Shit, Jensen's getting away. Back get your goddamn hands off me! You try that shit again and I'll put a... Wait. Eyes up. Let's get back to work. You try that shit again and I'll put a bullet in both your legs. You read me? Now shut up and move. I'm not Call a narco, Call Pakatari for some reinforcements. Unidad on my side. Stay down. Yo, we got Unidad approaching. Clear on this side. This is bullshit. You can't just arrest somebody for going to a fucking market. Save it, Jensen. We know all about you and the cartel. What I don't get is this. You're a scientist, right? So what the hell were you doing at a place like the witch market? Processing cocaine isn't just about solvents and reagents. Not the way I do it, at least. I get powders from the brujos that speed the process along and make the result more potent. Yeah? Like what? Like, fuck you. That's proprietary information. You want my secret recipe, you gotta pay for it. Look at that. Pretty good sized city considering the location. Reminds me a little bit of Houston. Everything is built around the oil refinery.
Back off! I'm a scientist. Helicopter inbound. You got no fucking right, you hear me? You don't have any legal jurisdiction here. I mean, even if you did, I'm a U.S. citizen here on a legitimate work visa. You're facilitating the manufacture of an illegal substance. An illegal substance that provides income for a gang of rapists and murderers. Not my problem. I'm not holding a gun to someone's head. I'm not making anyone take any drugs. People make their own choices. That's what individual liberty is all about. Fair enough. Take this fuck outside and shoot him in the head. Wait! What the hell?! You're right, Marcus. We don't have legal jurisdiction in Bolivia. So I'm gonna exercise my individual liberty and ask my associate here to blow your goddamn brains out. Wait, wait! You got something to say? Look, can we... Can we make some sort of a deal here? Sure we can. You tell me what I want to know and I won't put a bullet in your sociopathic skull. Fuck! Fine! Fine! I'll tell you what you want to know. That's all I'm asking. Great writer Balzac once said, To have a family is to become hostage to fortune. I told El Yayo we had something in common. We're both too old to start over. Me to start a new organization. You to start a new family. <laughs> 